Uh, the Champions League returns to TalkSport tonight as Man City travelled to Copenhagen in the last 16. It's live on TalkSport from 8. The City boss Pep Guardiola has been speaking ahead of the game and said that Erling Haaland offers his side more than just goals. Erling, first of all, is young. Playing in a position that's the most difficult position on the pitch. With the striker is surrounded for four or five players. The spaces are minor. So in the first half, maybe you have a special delivery that players of talent like Kevin, for example, you can find him. And in that moment, because he's so young, in that moment you have it, and it's being positive, we'll come. I had to score a goal and after you yeah, react. Look, he doesn't need to score a goal. He helped us for many, many things for us. Many, many. It's not just a score a goal. Of course, he defined, you know, for the for the goals. But it's not just that. Uh, Phil Jagielka is here, so he knows exactly what it's like to play up against superstar strikers. Um, before we talk about some that you've played up against and trained with as well, what I mean, can you even imagine what it would be like to play against Haaland? He just seems to bounce off defenders, doesn't he? It's incredible. I think obviously his first season speaks for itself. It is, it's funny, isn't it? He's doing so well. He's still a top goal scorer. He's been out for half the season. I know. And people still question, like, what does he do? Like, well, he keeps you occupied at the back that you can't go near any of the amazing footballers and then when he needs someone to score a goal he turns up it's, that's his job it's, uh, it's interesting you said it because some football fans might not see that so just explain what you mean so even if he's not touching the ball as a defender because you know how dangerous he is you've still got to look after him you can't then join the game you can't tell me every defence in the Premier League aren't concerned about playing against Haaland so what do you do you okay, bar probably Spurs because they like to defend from the halfway line most other teams will give themselves half a yard or you'll be a bit more conservative in pressing. Not many teams are going to try and press Man City for the whole game anyway. But then that allows you Bernardo Silvers, your De Bruyne's, your Foden's, your Grealish's, your, even your Doku's. It allows them <laughs> to do what they want to do. I can I can imagine Haaland probably gets a little bit frustrated, a little bit bored. But the fact of the matter is, when an opportunity arises and there's a through ball or there's a cross to be put somewhere near him, he's got to be excited. Ben, you've got to be excited. When, when you make a run and you don't have to make seven runs... You just make one run. It comes. The ball comes and you start smiling as it's coming to you because you know you're going to get an opportunity. You know, that's what he's in the team for. Does he want to have 100 touches outside the box I don't think he and does. have no crosses or not one assist? I don't think so. Mm. You get strikers that do like that, but he's definitely not one of them. Where, where would you rank him? And also as well, I mean, listen, you've played against him, unbelievable. Certainly, I always feel like out here there were so many centre forwards. Did you prefer the centre forward that used to play up against you or the ones like a Waza that would drop into the pockets that you, you can't really go in there? I think it depends who was, who was ahead of me. Do you know, like, if you didn't have a, a football intelligence holding midfielder, you had someone who just did their own thing and sometimes can't take on communication. That doesn't make him a bad player, but sometimes, you know, blocking lines or whatever, it was the hardest thing in the world. You had people like Wayne who were dropping in and they weren't dropping in to bounce it and give the ball to someone else. They were dropping in because he wants the ball and now he wants to show you what he can do when he gets the ball and the worst thing ever if if you if you've got a run if I can't see you Benty and someone else got the ball and they're clipping it in and I know you're running it's the worst feeling in the world <laughs> it's the worst you're running things up just uh, kick it out of play over hit it you know you're stretching it it's, it's horrendous so that's why Haaland's been so successful you see the, even the even the goal the other day De Bruyne gets it turns he could have played it sort of left foot channel for Haaland who's left footed instead plays it sort of on the other side of him gives him a chance obviously he still, mm. he still does well there wasn't a tapping but I say I'm I'm sure he'd like to score a hat trick and have a thousand touches a game Haaland but realistically what's he there for yeah. Do you know, wait, sorry, sorry, just about that goal as well Branthwaite now you would have been there when Stones was coming through uh -huh. and everyone was talking about yeah. John Stones being England centre half and he's gone on to do that where can Branthwaite get to that's the million dollar question I think you know, I was chatting about it before I don't think he's gone to go and get the ball off Haaland, but there's sometimes all you can do is jockey. He sort of half tripped himself up. And I think Branthwaite, in a year's time, or, 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 or 20, 50 more games, he probably just runs alongside Haaland. Because he's a strong boy, he's a big boy, he's a quick boy as yeah. well. And just ushers him towards... And maybe he gets a shot off of his right foot. But what he can't do... I'm not saying he did it on purpose. He can't be too excitable in those situations unfortunately I think he just tripped up or whatever and then presented Haaland with you know a, a, a free finish but we always knew John was going to be a footballing centre half and Branthwaite's still very good on the ball but I think he's a bit more commanding if you look at what obviously what Branthwaite's done and I say his development is he's at a good place John was at a great place you know we spoke about how David Moyes set his teams up and how 
defensively organised we needed to be. Then obviously Roberto came in and, and kept it pretty much the same with a little bit of a sprinkling of how he wanted to coach it. And I think the same with obviously Brownfield now. He will be in a team that suits him. He's going to play every week. He's going to develop as a defender. And I think it will give him a platform. Obviously, hopefully at Everton. But if not, you know, it, the potential there is going to be massive. Um We've got to go for news and sport in a minute. It's coming up to five. I mean, how quickly is that half hour gone? Which yeah. is quite frustrating. <laughs> Just quickly before we do, what was your record like against each other? Who usually came out on top? I, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and lie. I used to hate playing against him. <laughs> At Everton, I hated it. And I mean hated it. Well, because they're, I mean, their whole back four back in the they day. They wouldn't was... move. That was the problem. This this Dan could run. Yeah. He could run. Bainsey was just class. I feel sorry for Bainsey because he probably should have more England caps, but he's behind National Goal. Oh, well, yeah. And Tony yeah. Hibbert. Mm. Horrible. Yeah. I quite enjoyed it though because I knew he'd be desperate to score. <laughs> and, that was the, and obviously we knew each other because, you know, age wise, I was just desperate. If, if he didn't score in a game, I'd. He'd obviously say well done, but it'd be a little smirk in your face and vice mm. versa. Yeah, when he did score. Sounds like you came out on top. I don't know. I, I want to look at the stats before I commit to any of that. I don't know. Okay, we'll get the stats. Okay. Right, we'll yeah, I'll find <laughs> Talk Sport Drive. Super opinionated sporting debate. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.